This church means a lot to me because it's just a wonderful, it's just a weird place. It's got such a silence to it. When I found out that some of my favorite pieces of music ever had been recorded here, and I, it's not just that I love the pieces, I loved the recordings and the performances. I walked here at four in the morning as some kind of pilgrimage. When you find something that's about as near perfect as you can find it to be, you want to know all about it and you want to be around it. I came with my sound engineer, David, and he's just cutthroat. If it's not 100%, he just doesn't want to know. And we went to see a religious service here, and he was just like, yes, this is fantastic. The Promise Day Ensemble is an ensemble that I've been working with for about six years. Yeah, they're singers, um, musicians, and we're going to be recording some of my choral pieces. Yeah, really bring those, really enjoy it, really bring those concerts on. What does that mean? Um, I'm thinking of her sweet sleep overcame. which is daunting, but one of my favorite things to do. I'm in love with, with traditional styles of music, to an extent the Renaissance and prior to that. With choral music in particular, I try and create some kind of beauty. It's quite nostalgic. It has a somewhat contemporary twist. I'll, you know, will have like consecutive fifths in it. It'll have things in in it that you wouldn't necessarily find in period examples of where this music, in a sense, comes from. But you're not going to be surprised. You might be um, lifted, hopefully, by some of the music that I write, but not surprised. I hope people find it beautiful.
conducts his work so I think I'm I know how I want them to sound um, but it's, it's, it's really difficult to get that across each person you work with is different you start to move differently you realize that they respond to a shoulder more than an elbow for instance it's just kind of strange things like that If you're working with other people's music, it's one thing. If you're working with your own music, you know, the stakes are higher. You're trying to get somewhere beyond again. David is, is a fantastic sound engineer. There's no nonsense with uh, his approach to music. I have to say, sometimes I'll let things go and, and I love having David on board because he won't. I'll be like exhausted conducting. I'll turn around hoping that he'll smile and thumbs up. <laughs> sometimes I'll just be, <laughs> no. And it's like, okay, well, you're right. Well, let's do that again then. Lyrics are hugely important to me, and not just words, but sounds of words. The negligible clusters of sound that, that happen when you, when you have polyphony, that happen even when, when, when you're you know, unified. One of the pieces is called uh, How to Disappear. And it ends with, how to disappear, closing time is here. And to my frustration, people think I'm talking about the pub, but it's not. It's more a, a kind of, it's a, it's a kind of an, an emotional closure. It's sort of a, the, that feeling that one has sometimes when one wants to disappear. Uh, and closing time is, is here, is that, I don't, you know, that feeling of just utter abandonment. Um, so, you know, things like that, I, I kind of write because they're cathartic. When I go to a party, I will, at one point, I'll, I'll get them to sing. Anyone sing a note? Oh, and they'll go, okay, great, now. Oh, and we'll, we'll just start singing, you know, triads, and then we'll, you know, put in the, the seventh, you know, dominant seventh, we'll put in the ninth, and then we'll try and make a diminished chord. And it's amazing, because people, all they have to do is hold one note. And if they're not too drunk, they can. They love it, you know, I love it. I just love harmony. I love harmony on instruments, but I prefer it with vocals. There's something about harmony when it's rendered by the, the you know, the vocal cords, the, the voice, that is just so immediate. Closest to that, you know, perhaps, you know, string quartet, but when it comes to, you know, a vocal quartet singing, you know, they are harmonizing and they're talking to you. Even if it's not with words, there's something about the human voice that it is something you carry, whether you're a musician or not, around with you. And to have 
something as beautiful as the ability to speak and communicate, coupled with or imbued by harmony, is. I mean, A lot of these compositions I've had performed and recorded already. But this time I wanted, I wanted like a definitive recording. You know, this is this is it. This is as good as I. And now I can, you know, maybe I'll do it again someday. But I, you know, this is it for now. I want to write something new. I work on something else. My film and television work is going to continue. And now I want to focus on some of the electronic music that I create um, and some of the more contemporary sounding music.